Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And make sure you turn on notifications as well by clicking on that bell icon. New Jersey governor on funding illegals for college says that this is America and we need to include everybody. Now, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy defended his decision to pay for college for illegal aliens. Murphy has been in office for less than four months and he's already given illegals financial perks. The new Democratic Party always puts illegal aliens before U.S. citizens. The law could go into effect this fall. Now, after some pushback, Governor Murphy released a statement saying, This is America and we need to include everybody. You know, all is not coming up roses in the Garden State. Uh, right now, uh, the governor is ticking off a lot of uh, wealthy folks because he is angling in on a surtax for them. Uh, he says it will help the state, but they didn't expect that it would help illegal immigrants get access to student financial aid. Uh, Christina Bartsnavalos on the backlash behind us. What's going on here? Well, that's right. Right now you have illegal immigrants within New Jersey that can apply for financial aid. They must have gone to a school in New Jersey. That is the catch. But now they're going to be eligible. This is an extension of what Chris Christie put in place in 2013. Uh, he had said that all of these undocumented immigrants can actually get in-state tuition so they don't have to pay out-of-state tuition. But now you have the governor of New Jersey who's taking it one step forward, signing a bill into law. That's who you're seeing on your screen right now, saying that, yes, all of these undocumented authorized immigrants can apply for financial aid. However, he's not provided how much this will cost taxpayers. There is the one stat, Assemblyman Gary Scher, so he's he's actually sponsoring this legislation. He estimates that there's going to be roughly 600 illegals that will be allowed to join this program and apply for financial aid and estimating the cost around $5 million, which would pretty much result, and this is according to him, to 17 cents for each taxpayer. So that would be the extra add-on for taxpayers in New Jersey. If you're looking at stats, though, according to Homeland Security, there are about 480,000 undocumented immigrants within the state. The problem is we don't have a breakdown for age, and these stats are actually coming from 2014 uh, right now. And you have, of course, so many people that are upset about this, not only because they have to pay from their tax dollars, but also it's putting, this is according to many complaints I've read online and uh, heard through the radio station in New Jersey, that you have people saying, that's putting them one step higher. We too can't afford to put send our children to school, and now you're allowing unauthorized immigrants to also apply for financial aid. However, the governor has retaliated and said that this is America and we need to include everybody. We need to allow these children who have gone through the school system, just like other Americans, uh, the chance to further their education. And he's, this quote, is, he said, is I'd invite any of those folks who have that attitude, beginning with our president, to come on into this room and allow me or any of us uh, to stay. this is the United States of America. So again, these unauthorized uh, students can apply for state, but they can't apply for federal financial aid. Um, it is the United States of America, but whatever your view on this is uh, granting a, a, a right afforded U.S. citizens to those who are not. On that uh, path alone, that seems to be making New Jersey a sanctuary state in the process. Well, this uh, New Jersey is not the only one that's doing this. Obviously, there are, yeah. yeah, there are at least uh, nine other states total that. And have like been... you said, Chris Christie, this is it started there. So. Right, right, but yeah. he didn't want to take it one step further to actually put it into as a bill. Wow. All right, uh, Christina, thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. Just begs for an Abbott and Costello thing. But you're not a <laughs> citizen. Anyway, uh, AT&T CEO Randall Stevenson uh, is, is owning up to what he says was a big old mistake ever hiring Michael Cohen. Uh, All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.